In the eSigs Park 100 location, I'm going to talk to you about the T3D. What you need to know for this guy is to fill it, you'll just unscrew this base part right here. In that base part is your coil, which comes in 1.2, 1.5, and 1.8 ohm options, which those are very dependent on how you like your vape, so you just kind of have to try them and see what works best. Wattage wise on these coils, 8 to 10 watts is about the range if you're running a regulated device that you can adjust wattage on. When it comes to filling this tank, what you're going to do is you're going to fill down the sides, not down that center tube. That center tube will just leak out and be a big old mess, so I would not recommend doing that. But you'll just fill right down the sides in there, and you'll fill it right up to the top of that chimney. After that's full, you'll take your base with your coil in it, and put it right back in, tighten it down. And then you'll puff on it about 10 to 15 times until you, until you start to get a little bit of flavor off of it. Because uh, if you fire it up right away, what's going to happen is you're going to burn that wicking material. It's going to taste terrible and be very unpleasant in general. So, once again, not advised. With these guys, I would recommend running juices that are 70 VG, 30 PG or lower. The thicker juices just will not wick very well out of this. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos, and keep an eye on us. Come visit us at the stores, or check us out on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Have a good one.